in this chapter, the Buddha challenges the notion of sentient beings that exist as a separate entity from the Buddha nature, which is the ultimate reality of all phenomena. He points out that if there were truly sentient beings to be liberated, it would imply that the Buddha holds onto concepts such as self, person, and lifespan, which would contradict his teaching of emptiness. The Buddha goes on to explain that the concept of a self is merely a mental construct, and that the ultimate reality of all phenomena is empty and devoid of any inherent existence. The notion of sentient beings is just as empty as any other concept, and therefore, there are no beings to liberate. This chapter emphasizes the importance of understanding the concept of emptiness and how it relates to the ultimate nature of all phenomena. By realizing that there are no inherently existing sentient beings to be liberated, one can free oneself from the limitations of dualistic thinking and ultimately attain liberation.